Hi, welcome to Woodchip Woodworking. Today we're going to make a flag cross out of some scrap material from an old pallet. I cut the slats off of it. Um, thought I'd repurpose them. Um, yeah, they're pretty rough looking, but for what we're going to do, um, it should be perfect for that. Uh, I want that kind of rustic look, so I think these will do it. Um, please share, like, subscribe to the videos. Uh, I think this makes video number 14, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so feel free to share my videos. The like part, I guess, helps the algorithm grow. So if you can like the videos, that even helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe. So let's get started on this project. So what I did was I took these, cut them off of an old pallet. I squared the edge up and I cut a straight edge on this edge here. So I'll put that up against my fence. I got an inch and a half, uh, set my fence up for an inch and a half. And I'm going to cut strips out of it. So let me adjust the camera and uh, we'll get started. Uh, don't forget your earplugs. Um, table saw makes a lot of noise, so you want to wear your earplugs. Make sure you got your safety glasses on. So I'm going to cut some one inch strips out of this. I've got a push stick here I'm using. Push, push it. That's good. These are just scraps of uh, wood that came from an old pallet. Now, Several of them here I'm going to cut. I'll cut another one and then I'll one more. Alright, I'll cut the rest of these off and then uh, we'll be right back to see what the next step would be from our flag cross. Alright, welcome back. Um, what we did, we got all our strips cut. Um, and now we need to cut um, the pieces for the sides. Um, so I need, um, I believe, 11 pieces. So I need uh, nine si three inch pieces and two 11 inch pieces. So I got my uh, stop block set here, um, three inches from there. And uh, I'll cut off nine pieces there. So again, Put your earplugs in and let's get this cut. Using my miter gauge, stop block. And that right there will be a little too, too short, so it'll be safe. So I'm just going to skip that one, go to my next piece. Alright, so I'll just keep cutting them. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Cut the last three. There too as well. I got my nine pieces cut. Um, next thing I need to do is cut my 11 inch pieces. So let's set up for that and I'll be right back. All right, so set this up. Um, I can't cut um, 11 inch with my fence here so you'd see. So I thought I would just cut it uh, my square or my miter gauge and we'll go from there. Don't forget your earplugs. Almost didn't forget them. So, got our nine pieces right here, our two 11s, and I think we're ready to get started uh, cleaning them up, and we'll mark stuff out, and uh, we'll show you what the next step is. 
All right, so what I did was I just laid it out for a minute here, look at things, make sure everything looks good. It looks good. And uh, next thing we need to do is um, just do a real light sanding on them. Um, you can take a torch and burn them. Um, for some reason, uh, I think I'm going to not burn this one and see what it looks like uh, not being burnt. And uh, we'll go from there. So I'm going to do a little sanding. Um, my uh, belt sander here, I'm going to clean it up. And then uh, I'll be right back to show you what we're doing there. All righty. So I got my uh, belt sander here. I'm just going to touch them up on all four sides, clean them up a little bit. And we'll go from there. Just lay it down. Got to clean it up a little bit. Sorry about that. The camera fell off. I uh, just the camera there fell off. Just kind of cleaning them up a little bit. And I'll stand the edge. I'll do that and we'll come right back. Alright, so we got all our pieces cut and laid back out. Um, what I need to do now is lay out, uh, they call it the union. And uh, I'm just going to lay this on top of where I'm going to do this. So I'm going to put that right on that edge. Uh, first of all, I need to measure over. So an inch and a half, which would be um, inch and a half, half an inch and a half would be half, uh, three quarters of an inch. So I need to measure over three quarters, no, inch and a half. What's an inch and a half? Inch and a half, uh, half inch, quarter, three quarters. Why does that not look right? So it'd be a inch and a inch and a half or three inches i'm sorry it's three inches so i want to go over an inch and a half to the center put a mark where i want to do this okay so now i'll lay this out on here i'm going to use this as a straight edge well actually i can't um inch and a half that's there this is 11, half of 11 is five and a half. So I want to go five and a half from there to here. Put a mark, five and a half there, put a mark. Use my straight edge, mark a straight edge up through there. So I got a straight edge and uh, then we'll have something to work off of. Do the same thing on the top piece. And get them straight. Let's do this. That way to get me straight. I just want a nice even line. All right, that's what I need right there. So now that would be where my union would go. The stars on that will go up there. And I might actually, yeah, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. We're going to go with it. So now. Uh, this is going to be every other, every other one is going to be a red and a white and then blue. This will all be blue and then these will all be red, white, and so forth. So the first one's going to be a red. So, um, easiest way I found to do this is take a razor blade, lay it right on that line, and then just tap this in like that. So that's what I want. So I got that one. So that's the red. So as you can see, I got a red. And if I use a white razor blade, I know that that's going to be white. So these are just regular razor blades. And I put that right on there like so. Tap it in. Okay. Put my red on this side, my white on that side. This one's red. Red. And then this would be white. Let 
This one would be red. Put him there. And then the rest of them are going to be white, red, white, red, white, and red. So that's what we got to laid out there. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to paint this. So give me one second. Get... All right. So here's our, this is our white, and it's just a Minwax uh, stain. Um, I like the way it works. I like Minwax products. Um, unfortunately, Home Depot does not sell Minwax. They sell Valspar, which is fine, but I prefer Minwax. So I had to go to Lowe's. So, all right, I'm going to put a pair of gloves on and I'm going to paint my white. Um, I'm going to do it with uh, gloves or uh, with a rag. And we're just going to dip it in. And uh, so this is our, our other part. This one here, just wipe the coat on. Do the edges. It'll take maybe two or three coats to do this. And these here, you don't have to do the edges, just the ends. And then these here, you have to do the ends on both ends on these <laughs> I'm actually going to do the other side on this one I like this the other side better Put good coat on there. All right. And then basically just uh, kind of go through and wipe it off. I'll probably end up putting two coats on this. I'm going to wipe them off and then I'll come back and look at them and we'll do them again. You can also use a brush. I'm just going to try it with the rag here and see how it works, and then we'll go from there. So that's the white. Um, we'll come back, and I'll do the red and the blue the same way. I do like this one here. I'll do the blue on this side, white on this side, and this will be all red except for that. So we'll be right back. All right, so we got our painting done. So now we just need to remove our razor blades. And an uh, interesting trick on that is to take a razor blade and score the inside of that on both sides. And then it'll come out just like that. And that cuts the paint and allows it to come out without tearing up the paint that's there. <clears throat> I think I want a little heavy on the Thing. Oh, this one's in there a little bit more. Last one. Trying to keep the paint off the other colors. There. So we'll put our razor blades back in our little container here. All right. So now the next step would be to put it together. So... And put this together here. 
Alrighty. It goes something like this. Now, get our, our uh, pattern in the correct order here. <clears throat> All right. So that's what it would look like right there. So we got to glue it together and put it in there. Now, the interesting part is to um, put it together in pieces. So I'm going to glue these three together, these three, this one, and these three together. And we need our glue, clamp, the one, two, three, four clamps. So, four clamps here, and we're set. All right, we got our clamps, got our glue. <clears throat> so, I'll start with this one, and I'm just going to put a bead of glue down this edge. So, I don't want to put too much on it. And I put that one right like that. Put a bead of glue on this. And we want to keep our edges square. Take our clamp and just clamp it up in there. And you're going to get a little squeeze out, but that's fine. That's what a paper towel is for. Get a little paper towel here. All right. The other thing I want to do is tap that down so it's level. Actually, I'm going to use my rubber one. <clears throat> use my little rubber one here so I don't scar it. We just like that. Set that off to the side. Do our next one. Same thing. A little glue on it. Clamp it. It be set. Keep them as straight as possible. And there we are. Let a little bit of squeeze out. That's what we want. All right. It's number two. Get this one. Here, yeah, and you can see I painted this edge and I didn't need to because these two edges go together. So, and I think I'm gonna put two clamps on this one just to be safe on it. So, I'm gonna put one here. Trying to get it so it don't move. <clears throat> trying to get my union to line up too. It's just barely off. All right. It's not going to be perfect, but that's all right. Neither am I. Neither am I. So, make sure she stays flat. Uh-oh. Getting a little white in the uh, blue. 
from the glue. Really don't want that. And last one is this one. Get clamp here, another clamp. All right, wipe my glue off. All right, it's good. Let them dry. And once they're dry, then we'll put it the rest of the way together. All right, so now we're going to glue the rest of it together here. I got my backing board. We're all set. All right, so um, take these clamps off. Let's get rid of these. All right. This is the bottom. Our glue hasn't really had a chance to set up, but it will be set up enough for what we're going to do next. What we're going to do next. So, all right. So that's the top. Then this will go here. And then this will go here and here. All right, so what we want to do is put a little glue on there. And I want to do it, measure this so I get this right. Pencil, pencil, pencil. Over here. <clears throat> measure this. Should be an inch and a half. So I just want to put a small mark right there. So that's where I want to line the top up with that. So we're going to put a little glue on this. And we're going to set that right there. Put a little glue on this. Set that right there. Put a little glue on this one. That will go right there, just like that. Now we'll put a clamp on it <clears throat> to hold it. Keep everything in line. Yeah, just a temporary hold on it. I'm going to flip it over. And then this piece will go right on the back, about like so. <clears throat> get my nail gun. And I need to get shorter nails. These are too long. Be right back. All right, so I had to go find some smaller staples put in here but we got our piece so we're going to glue this in place and then we'll use this as like a backing for it hold it in place and i forgot to put my staples in All right, so I got my pneumatic stapler here, and I'm just going to put that in there like so. Now I need a little bit air, more air pressure on it.
then we'll put a little glue on the side pieces. One there. And one there. And that'll give it a good space when you're hanging on the wall. There it goes. All right, and now we gotta put that down. Tap these in. All right, and there's the cross so far. And we'll take and uh, lay out our. Uh, union on that and I'll show you what we're doing next on that and hang tight all right so we're gonna put our union on there real quick um, and I think I'm gonna tape this off first and then we'll do that oops that's all right Tape this here so we don't get any paint on this. <sighs> ah. My tape is tearing for some reason. Oh, I must have dropped it on there. That's why it's. I just want to tape that off like that and I'll put one across the base here like so let me get a piece of paper to put over that a piece of newspaper to put over the edge of this I think we're done with the hammer Take this down. I just want to protect this and I want to protect this. So I need another piece of paper. So, like that. And as you can see, we got our stencil here, and you want to make sure your stars are pointing up on this. And we're going to tape it onto there so it don't move. Like so. Tape it out here. And we're going to put a piece of tape on the back side here just to protect the white from there. And my paper didn't hold. So we're just going to put a piece of tape on that. And piece of tape on there. And it's more or less just to protect the edges. That's all. Put one across the end. And we're going to hold that in place like so. I'll put one there. That holds my template in place. We'll put our paper back on there. There. Now we're cooking. All right. So basically, I got me some white paint. And all I want to do is go through and just, at a distance, I want to just go...
I don't want to get too much at one time. Let's see. Yeah. Just like that, that should be good. It looks good. One last time. There. All right, let's see what it looks like. Take our paper off, take our template off. These templates I picked up on Amazon. I got like six of them. Um, I don't remember what the price was on it. It's not bad. Um, I'm going to have to do a little bit of touch-up, I think, on the blue. But for overall, it looks pretty good. And I think we got a finished project. So, this is my first time ever doing this, and I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I'm going to go back through, and I'm going to touch that up with blue where I smeared it, with, but I think it looks pretty good. It's a nice-looking cross with a flag. Um, I'll put a little keyhole in the top to hang it with, and uh, there she be. So, I appreciate your time. Um, this is kind of an interesting project, uh, fun to do. I might do some more of them. Um, so please share, like, subscribe, uh, feel free to, you know, share this with other people, comment, tell me what you think, and uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed the video, you learned a little bit, and uh, I appreciate you stopping by, and thanks for, uh, thanks for uh, tuning in. Have a good day.